Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be doing the new eyeshadow tag. Um, if you've heard of it. <laughs> so, it was created here on YouTube by Samantha March and Ali Klein. I've watched Ali Klein's video and then I've watched a few others, but, um... I was like, um, I think I need to do that <laughs> because I feel like I don't share enough of my collection with you guys. I think I use the same products over and over or I use new products. There's no like recap of everything. So I really, really like these, like this style video and I thought it'd be fun and fresh. And yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I must have knocked over the pile of palettes here. <laughs> if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. What? And hit that subscribe button. <laughs> And without further ado, let's just get started. I don't want to stay too long with this video because I just filmed this makeup look today um, and I was using new makeup and that video was an hour long, literally an hour long. So I don't want this one to be too long. Um, I did watch um, It's Just Steph's video and Jessica Bronze. If you want to watch those, go check those out. That's where I saw it first and then they, they were mentioning that Allie Glines did it. So then I went to Allie Glines, whatever. But Jessica Bronze was the one who was kind of like, who made me like want to do it bad. Um, I love her videos she's so great so i was like yes i need to do that <laughs> so basically we're going through and like answering a bunch of questions about our palettes and then like showing you obviously the palette to that question and i think there are thir there's 13 questions and then jessica braun actually added two to her own which i'm going to do too because i like those two questions so <laughs> um here we go number one is the newest palette and so i have two here um because it kind of came in at the same time this i got in a boxy charm this is the violet boss essentials pro series palette i literally just got this in a boxy charm haven't even touched her so kind of this is the newest but the one i used in my new makeup video today literally um is the anastasia jackie Ina palette which is also new to me um so they're both pretty new to my collection um they're the newest um i've got them in the past like week or so so these are brands baking new i'm really excited to play with both both of them more well this one more and i'm excited to play with this one in general um and i haven't even boxed that it boxy charm yet when i'm filming this video so that's how new this guy is so but it's not neither of these are new on the market but they're just new to moi. moi. I rarely buy new on the market eyeshadow palettes anymore because I've just decluttered so many that I'm like, there's no, there's no point. I just didn't know I'm not going to love them as much as I should unless I wait and see. <laughs> All right, next is oldest palette. And the oldest palette probably in my collection right now is the Morphine Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. These came out like maybe a year or two ago. I don't know, maybe 2017 or 2018. No, I think it was 2018. Lord, I don't know, but it was a long time ago that these came out, um, and I've been obsessed ever since. This is my oldest that, like, I haven't gotten rid of yet. Um, there are palettes that were older than this in my collection, of course, but this one I haven't gotten rid of yet, and I still love it. It's still beautiful. It still performs amazing. So, yes. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. Um, okay, my most expensive palette. This was a hard category because I didn't know how everyone was counting it. They kind of all did it differently. Like, Jessica Braun was counting a palette she got in PR as the most expensive because technically as a price tag. If you're buying it, that's the most expensive, but she didn't pay for it, so I don't know if that counts. I don't know. I don't know if I would count that, but like, um, and then, um, Allie Glines did it where... She showed us the most expensive per shadow, and she showed us the most expensive in general. So it kind of went back and forth. But I'm going for the most expensive that I paid for with my money. There are some here that I um, got on sale that I got, like the Jackie Ina one. I got half off. Um, the Violet Voss, some of the Violet Voss ones I have, I got with BoxyCharm, so I obviously didn't pay for them. Like a lot of stuff that I just got, like it wasn't that full price. The one I paid full price for was actually um, Huda Beauty's Ruby Obsessions. I believe I paid the full $27 for this. That was the most expensive, which I'm very proud of because you know that's nuts. Because I don't like to, I don't like to spend a lot of money on uh, one product in general unless it's like really something i really really want but even still i just rarely do and so i'm really glad that the highest like i've paid for an eyeshadow palette was 27 dollars. that's crazy and i have pan in it like it's just it's been it's a really loved palette so i'm really happy about that um yeah next is your least expensive palette and i think everyone who everyone i watched or most or half the people i watched um all had the elf bites exact shadow palettes they're literally three dollars and they're literally a full eyeshadow palette so of course it has to be like if you have these there's i don't know how you're paying cheaper for an eyeshadow palette I'm j i just don't know but um this is three dollars it's the 
Elf Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, and I have the shade Carnival Candy. I really, really love these. Love the formula. Everything about these is so good. Um, so there's a reason why everyone has them, and there's a reason why everyone still is talking about them, you know? They're so bomb. So, yes. <laughs> that is my least expensive, my most affordable on General Maui. Next is my everyday palette. So this one's a little bit hard. I actually, so what I normally do is I normally have this Z palette, this empty Mary Kay palette right here. This is the Laura Los Angeles um, 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 Cat's Pajamas palette mixed with some other shades. Uh, there's a lot of singles in here. Um, but I usually have both the ColourPop Anna Wow, both the ColourPop on the palette and the ColourPop Night Owl palette, I have them depotted in that, and that is my everyday palette. I would use that every day for the rest of my life if I freaking could, but I put them back in here because I want to actually write the names on the back so that you guys can, when I talk about that palette, I can read the names to you because I haven't been, and that just, like, I feel like that's stupid. But, um, so... These will be my everyday palettes. The color schemes are literally perfect for everyday. They're like the perfect mix between glam and neutral, and I live for it. And honestly, it looks like I'm wearing this one on my eyes, but I'm actually wearing the Jackie Aina palette, so it's crazy. Dupes or what? Close enough. But anyway, um, this is like my perfect color scheme. They have the neutrals, the cool tones, the warm tones, the pinks, the purples, the whole nine, and I don't feel like I need anything more than that. That would be my everyday palette if I could. If I could, oh, well, the definition of could is, like, I literally could, but, like, if I wanted to, if, if I wanted to get rid of all the other eyeshadow palettes that I have, which I don't, this would be my everyday palette, this combination. Yes! Oh, and technically I wanted to mention also, my Laura Los Angeles Cat, uh, Cat's Pajamas palette is probably my oldest palette. It's older than my, um... Morphe Jaclyn Hill one, but it's like I, I it's, de it's depotted. I don't have all the shades. It's just I, I use a lot of the shades. Some of them broke the whole nine, so it's not really a palette anymore. It's just a couple shades. So I didn't want to count that one. I just wanted to mention that in case you're like, wait, girl, wait. Next is most colorful palette. Again, this is kind of two, but it's because I don't know. It's weird. This is the Violet Boss Sugar Crystals palette. It's very, very colorful. You can see all the colors to it. It has the whole nine. Um, literally, all the color of the rainbow. It has a bunch of shimmers in those um, shades. And so, super colorful, very obviously. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place because this one's super colorful as well. And I feel like this one's, I don't know, I feel like they're tied for colorfulness, even though the Violet Boss has more. Because I feel like these are more, the Violet Boss are a little bit more um pastel these are more to more colored so i don't know i feel like this one kind of gives it a run for its money and yeah i don't know they're both pretty colorful these are probably tied for the most colorful i don't wear color too much but um these are great these are great these are great to have i'm running out of space to put these things all right, smallest eyeshadow palette, of course, the e.l.f. Bite Size one, again, only four shades, literally the smallest eyeshadow palette of life itself. Um, yeah, she's pretty small. She's pretty tiny. That was easy. Easy, easy. So next is my biggest palette, and my biggest palette is definitely the Santa Fe BH Cosmetics um, Santa Fe eyeshadow palette. It is 20, it has 20 shadows, I believe. They're kind of in like a weird order here, but um, there's 20 shadows in here, and this is probably like, I don't know if I, oh, did I lie to you? No, okay, I thought I lied to you for a second. Um, I counted, I swear. And this is probably the biggest I'd go. I don't know if I'd buy another 20 eyeshadow pan palette, um, but... Yeah, it's, it's it's massive. I don't love bigger palettes. This is probably the biggest one. The close next one is the Violet Voss palette. It has 18 shades, though. If I can do math, 3, 6, 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Yeah, 18 shadows. So, um, I don't know. I don't like big palettes, but here we are. Here we are. Next is my best memory, and that is also this BH Cosmetics one. And I feel like, well, none of my palettes, I don't, I feel like none of my palettes have a good memory to them. Like, I didn't take one on a trip, I didn't do my makeup or something and, like, live for it. There are some that I, like, I, I can think back and think of a video that went really, really well um, that I, that, like, mean a lot to me because I did really well in those videos. A lot of people came to my channel from those videos, but, like, nothing that really hits the heart except for this BH Cosmetics one because my favorite musical in the whole wide world is Newsy. And if you've never seen Newsies, he's like, his dream is to go to Santa Fe and he sings a whole beautiful song. Oh, and what is his name? Why can't I, why can't I think of his name? His name in the show is Jack Kelly. 
um, Jordan, Jordan, Jeremy Jordan, I don't know why I forgot his name for a whole second and a half. Jeremy Jordan, he's the love of my life, but anyway, he sings amazing, but he sings a beautiful song about Santa Fe, and you're just like, Santa Fe, and it just speaks to my soul, and like, um, there's, I don't use this palette a lot, honestly, like, you, if you've been here, you know that I just really don't, I haven't even done, like, a dedicated video to it or anything like that, um, so I don't use this palette a lot, but like, it speaks to my soul, I keep it because I'm like, Santa Fe, Santa Fe, <laughs> Santa Fe, so, Yes, that was the, like, best memory, most nostalgic to me is this one, um, I'd have to say. <sighs> um, okay, next is Worth the Hype. So this is a palette that's worth the hype. Of course, I think all the ColourPop palettes are worth the hype. This one is one of the monochromatic ones, which, again, people love and rave about is their monochromatic palettes. They are so worth the hype. The formula is so good, so beautiful. The formula is amazing, and so I'm really, I really, really love it. Um, I think they're so worth the hype, worth every... Um, so worth every penny, every, every, I don't know, every, every, every video made about them, they're so worth it. Um, I, like, and I can't, I can't, I can't express that enough. All of them are so worth it. Every single color pop palette I've tried, so worth the hype around it. Um, yeah. I just, I just, I, that's all I, that's all I can say because they're so freaking good. So freaking good. All right, next is a palette that's not worth the hype. And I think, and I can't, it's hard to pick one specific palette for these two categories because I don't necessarily like I don't know brands a lot of brands are known for their eyeshadow palettes so their brand is even known worth the hype or they're um or they're not worth the hype I feel like their brand of eyeshadow palettes I don't know I don't have one specific one but I think but I think the brand that's well I feel like a brand that's not worth the hype is Julia's Place I I I bought this a trio and the warrior three that I talked about earlier I bought this um a couple weeks ago so I don't I haven't used them too too much to officially say but just using the shadows based off first impression they're just first of all they when they you put them on they don't apply true to what you see in the pan so like this pink is a little bit darker than the pink that's in here so it just doesn't apply true to um the shades in the pan number one but also the formula is just not as good as I felt like it should be because of how many people love this brand. I feel like just Juvia's Place in general, they're, all, all the palettes I've tried are not super worth the hype. I've tried better shimmers. I really like this palette. I love the color scheme. and um, But I just feel like the formula... Okay, that's watch really nice. But I just feel like the formula is nothing nothing that deserves the hype that it gets if that makes sense i'm just explaining it with a question but that's just literally how i feel i just feel like they're not worth the hype and i can and they kind of fell off for a little bit no i don't know i feel like a lot of people have every single one of their palettes and they're like i'm gonna keep collecting juvie's place because i love them so much but they don't really use them and so maybe like i don't know maybe people are just like i don't know they're just playing it i don't know they're just not worth the hype i just don't think maybe they don't get as much hype as ColourPop or anything in general but they're not worth the hype that they get you know if that makes sense. Does that make sense to anyone? I don't know. Okay, next is favorite from a favorite brand. One of my favorite brands is... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me slow my roll before I get myself in trouble. One of my favorite brands for eyeshadow palettes is definitely Too Faced. I think they do something so right with these little baby eyeshadow palettes. And this Too Cold Peach is my absolute favorite. It is so cute. It is so beautiful. And look at all the use I've gotten out of these two shades, bro. The dips are so huge. I love the shades. Love the formula. Love everything about these little palettes. And Too Faced does something so right with their formula. And their smells delicious delicious so good so good i'm obsessed definitely a favorite from a favorite brand of course my favorite from ColourPop is this one which ColourPop is a favorite brand as well but um i feel like i i feel like i love this one just a little bit more from Too Faced because Too Faced is a little bit more expensive a little more luxury and you're just like <laughs> yes yes and last but not least is the is um most used eyeshadow palette and of course my most used goes to my oldest eyeshadow palette because it's my oldest so i've used it for longest um there actually is pan in this shade right here so this is 100 percent my most used palette um well there's a two face tickle peach is not far off i kind of got them around the same time i just feel like i use this one more um from time to time but recently i've been dipping into this one a lot so they might just be tied or something like that or giving each other for a run for their money. But this one was definitely my most used. Talked about that one enough. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to Jessica Braun's um, extra questions here. Um, yeah. 
So the first one, well, there's only two, but the first one was underrated palette. I feel like a super, super duper underrated palette is the Morphe and Many MUA Glam Palette. It is so underrated. It came and it died, and I don't know why, because I feel like people, like, of course, brands and stuff give the palettes bad names. Morphe gives this palette a bad name. Many MUA gives this palette a bad name to some people. Um, but if you take the brand, take the name away from it, this palette is so good, and no one talks about it. These highlighters alone are stars. They are so such stars and notes about eyeshadow palettes but it comes with a highlighter so i have to talk about it too um and the shades are so perfect they're perfect for every day perfect for beginners perfect there's perfect so a lot of people for so many people perfect for 20 bucks you get this entire palette for 20 dollars it's so perfect everything about it is perfect and no one talks about it the shades you can you can have some fun with the pops but the mattes are so nice they're so easy they are buildable they're blendable the whole nine everything about this palette is so good and it's so underrated no one talks about it nobody talks about it i love her love her so much um he just came out with his new highlighters i mean his new blush palette and i'm like you don't need it you don't you don't need it <laughs> anyway and then the last product was limited edition that she talks about and of course i have actually this one's limited edition this one's limited edition um i think jackie Ina is gonna be limited edition soon i think um Frozen is going to be limited edition soon and I thought buttered rum is going to be limited edition soon So these are all babies that are limited edition. I got a lot of limited edition makeup But this is my number one limited edition product is the Colourpop Night Owl palette I'm so mad that Colourpop did that to the world. They're so rude for this. I love all my other palettes I really do but I feel like of course I feel like I could find all of the tickled peach shades in something else There's so many all the palettes that are limited edition. I can find those shades somewhere else This shade right here the shade bird brain is the prettiest like I don't know what to tell you it is. It is so stunning and you can't even, this doesn't even grasp what it looks like on the eye. I've worn it nonstop. You can see the huge dip in it. I got this for Christmas and you can see the huge dip in it because I just love it so much. The palette is perfect. Perfect for the everyday, everyday wear and tear, but then you can everyday wear and tear and you can glam it up. It's just the perfect palette and they took it away from all of you. And what makes me the most mad is that it's so cheap. It's like ColourPop, why did you do this to me? Why? Why do you hate me? Why? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so mad, but I'm so glad. My sister got it for me for Christmas and I was like, thank you because I would have... I would have not known what I missed out on. I would not have known what I missed out on with this palette, but she's so stunning. OM, OM, obsessed. In love. Yes. All right, so the quote for today is from Newsies, my favorite musical in the whole wide world. Whole wide world. Um, <laughs> um, it's just, it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> but it's a little bit longer. Um, it says, now is the time to seize the day. Stare down the odds and seize the day. Minute by minute, that's how you win it. We will find a way, but let us seize the day. And it's a song, so that's why it's really hard to just read that and not sing it. But it's just so true. It's, it, there's no better time than right now to seize your day. Why are we waiting? What are we waiting for? You know, for that special moment. It's never going to happen unless you just take the time now and seize the day. And so, um... <laughs> I love that musical. If you can't tell, if you haven't seen it, I definitely watch it. If any recommendation from this video, it's that to watch Newsies. Go do it. All right, bye guys.